I'm going to show you the new damage and repair system that's been implemented. So here we have a small base I've constructed, providing a few resources. When we click in these buildings, we can now see the new health meter. There are several different states, ranging from excellent to failed. Each building has a different amount of health. They all get damaged over time, and other things such as natural disasters will also damage them. When the building's health gets to zero, the building will deactivate and will stop producing and consuming its resources. To accompany the new health system, there's a brand new building called the Repair Yard. This comes with two repair ships that will automatically repair buildings when their health goes below 10%. Alternatively, you can manually direct them to repair a specific building. They also have a fuel limit that you need to watch out for. As you can see, I just directed the ship to repair a specific building. If we click in that building, we can see that its failure is imminent. Due to upgrading the ship, it will now repair the building relatively fast. Other than time, natural disasters can also damage the buildings. Today we have a demonstration of the Margo Meteor disaster. Due to the lack of atmosphere on the moon, Margo Meteorites don't burn up or slow down. If you get a shower of these, they could puncture the building letting the air inside out. <laughs> 